Hey everybody, it's me Jack with Jack's Lawn Care. Um, I haven't really posted a video in a while. I've just been so swamped. I literally just got done two days ago with the remainder of the current projects that need to get done. Uh, what do I do? I finished a mulch stop job two weeks ago and then I had to go back to that project and I did like a wood chip board along the wood lines. Um, then I did a small two, like two and a half, one and a half, yard and a half mulch job. Um, and then I just got done, and then I got done trimming some bushes. So, uh, but I don't remember the last time I posted. It was probably the beginning of the season. Um, but the, the, a lot has changed since then. A, bit, a lot has changed since then. Um, the beginning of the year, we just started out with this mower. We probably... I think the last video I made was the setup video, actually. And some stuff's changed. Um, but this is was the main mower last year and beginning of this year. This is currently, like, the second mower slash backup mower now. Because it's something you guys already saw. But there's not really... There, there's a whole backstory to why I bought what you guys will see in a minute. But, um... Yeah, I was, I don't know if I talked about this, but I was having some issues with the Hustler. Just, it wasn't, I don't know what it, she was. It was just not cutting that great. But, um, yeah, and, uh, so that one for service, in order for that to go into service, it was going to be a few weeks. I needed to have another machine. Um, this has, like, 300 hours on it now, I think. I haven't ran this much since I bought the other machine, but actually I ran it last week for a little bit. Day. What's on there? Yeah, 270. Yeah, I think I put the 70, 100 hours on it this year. Um, yeah, I put 100 hours on it this year. Um, yeah, so in order for that to go into service, I need to have a machine because I couldn't be without a machine for what was it two weeks um so then that forced me into going to something else um i did talk about at the beginning of the year how stuff might be changing in that setup video but um i didn't think it would be this way and this way it would be changing well somewhat in this way i thought i would i thought i would be buying a used higher hour machine instead i had to uh all the higher hour machines are just weren't really worth it. And I would have to put like 1500 bucks into a higher hours machine to get it good to go for the year. And then once I figured that out, I, I started to price new machines. I think this was, I, I knew I wanted a Laser Z. I've ran Laser Z for a lot of hours. Probably close to 500 hours I put on it. One laser Z unit. Um, but, uh, so then I found this mower right here. <clears throat> and I thought, oh, this could work. So then Xmark has a 0% finance for 48 months deal going on. But when I bought it, I don't know if it's still going on. Um, and this was actually a special one of their like promo deals or promo pricing unit so i uh jumped on this um it's an e-series but it's got the carbureted color on it i was about to go with efi but then i kind of decided maybe i should just stick with the carbureted for a little bit and um not have to spend two more grand and at the time there was only one one e e series it was an e series i think the e series only comes with the efi and the x at the time the only one with the color efi was an s and that's like two grand more uh i got what did i got 50 hours on this thing 40 hours yeah 40 hours i had it for almost two months now um but yeah this thing saves me so much time 
it's so much quicker compared to the Hustler. Um, but the Hustler is a high-end residential unit, and this is a commercial unit. Um, it cuts a lot better than the Hustler. Uh, stripes are amazing. Um, I don't think there's really anything else I have to talk about. I don't have anything bad to say about it so far. Um, what else has really changed? It's kind of like an update video, if you guys can tell. Uh, that's, you guys know that, that's the 30X mark. Got the two steel blowers. This has been my main blower, actually. I haven't used that that much this year. I've been using the 6 a lot this year. Uh, just because of how light it is. And then I also, where is it, actually? That's a really good question. Oh, there it is. The BG55 I've been using a little bit this year too. I didn't use that much last year. Uh, I have, I've had it for a while. I decided, you know what, I'll break it out and use it. And I've actually used it quite a bit this year. Um, oh, next new thing. Actually, there's two new things I don't know if I talked about. This is, this is cool. Look at me. I don't know what's going on. But it's all purchases that have made sense. Um, so I bought the 111, or the KM 111. They're not 111, it's the 131. Um, got the edger on it, that's what it mainly, I mainly use it for. I don't know why this is so zoomed in, but I have the trimmer, the string trimmer, and the extended hedge trimmer, and the edger. Um, for now, I've, once, I, I could see the pole saw being being useful and I'm definitely going to be getting the battery definer next year. Um, I decide not to buy it now because I wouldn't have, wouldn't really make my money back on it yet. But the time that I use this, I use this to trim big bushes on the other day. And that was very nice not having to be up on a ladder with the echoes. I, I really do like these echoes though. This is nice for the higher stuff because I'm not a huge fan of being up on ladders with this. Um, but I prefer this over the steel HS45 any day. Um, and then I got a 271. I think I might have talked about it, but I got this like a few months ago. I've only used it a few times, but it's a pretty good saw. Um, it's got the 20 bar, 20 inch bar on it. Um, but yeah, got a toolbox too. Um, my toolbox. Not really anything interesting. Um, not something crazy, just a toolbox. Yeah, I don't think there's really anything else I have to talk about with you guys. Um, oh, there is something I wanted to talk about. Um, I have an idea. I want to run it by and see what everybody thinks. Okay, so what I'm thinking about doing it might work and it might not work. Well, let's just do a test run for a week. But I'm thinking about this week starting to do a some type of week weekly review videos or what like a week video a weekly video of what I have going on every week because I just haven't really had time to post much and I can't it's a little too much to post something every day or every day I'm working at least because I only work two to four I like I don't work five days a week. Um, at least I don't like to, because there's always stuff that comes up, and then it's nice to have a break, because I don't really get breaks on the weekends. So, I'm going to try and do, like, a weekly review video, um, see how it goes, see if I can even remember to film it. Um, I was going to start last week, but then I kind of said, no, I'm not going to start this week, I'm going to wait until I make this video, so a lot more makes sense. Because you would see all this different things and you would be like, oh, where's that from? So I figured I'd just do this video first and then next week probably, maybe Friday, uh, I don't know about next Friday night. Maybe next Thursday night it'll be out. It was next Friday, next weekend I have stuff going on. But next Thursday night it might be out. And um, you'll kind of see, it's going to be a little iffy because it's going to be the first time for me doing it so um, it might be a little all over the place and you might not see much but that's because I'm trying to figure things out still um, 
I'm gonna try and figure out the filming situation and how to do some of that because I have a GoPro but it doesn't really work. Um, so it might just be from my phone, which I'm recording on now, but um, we'll let's see. We'll just we're just gonna wing it and see what happens. So if you guys want like a lot more frequent updates, go look at Instagram because there's a lot of stuff on Instagram that is not on here um, because Instagram's just so more convenient for me to post on. I'm pretty pretty active on my stories. If you go over there, there's a post. You can see some of the latest work we've been doing. Um, what else is over there? I don't think there's really anything over there. You can go see who I follow over there. I think probably whoever watches this probably follows similar people. But um, yeah, I don't think there's much more to really talk about. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any more updates before I leave, but I don't think there is. So, if there is, you'll see them in the next week video. Alright guys, check out the Instagram. Thanks for watching. See ya.